Hello, it's Carl at Damage Hitter. Today we're talking about how to hit a baseball. Stop squishing the bug. Before we get started, I need you to subscribe and hit the bell. Get that notification every time we upload. You doing that and checking us out as soon as we upload helps us grow our channel tremendously. Once again, it's how to hit a baseball. Stop squishing the bug. Come on in. Let's get started. What's up out there? It's Carl Carswell, Damage Hitter. Thank you so much for coming by today. We're talking about how to stop squashing the bug. How to hit a baseball? Stop squashing the bug. The way we do it around here is we talk about three things. Number one, what's the problem? Number two, why do we have this problem? And number three, what's the solution? So right away, what's the problem? We have many hitters who are taught to turn their back foot in order to create power. They, they put their front foot down in their hitting position and they turn their back foot to create power. So when you're looking at them this way, the ball's coming through the plate, what happens is they get in this position and they turn. Okay? I'm not concerned about them turning over the back foot or turning into the ball. That's not a problem for me. Whether they turn into their back foot or over their back foot or they turn into the ball, neither one of those are the issue for me. The issue for me is by creating power with the body, by turning, what happens is hitters turn away from the path of the pitch. So what happens is you say, turn the back foot, squash the bug, and they do what you ask them to, they turn. And then what they've done is they've presented themselves this way as the ball's coming through. Okay? Why do we ask guys to do this? We do this because they're young and we wanna create power. We wanna create bat speed. We wanna tell them how to transfer energy with their body in a simple way that's effective. And this is a simple way and it is effective. If you're 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, you can create a lot of force by turning your body. You also create poor direction. You also learn how to turn and swing this way when the ball is coming in on this line. All right, so what we're trying to get is people to understand that squashing the bug, rotating hard, will create power and force and it also will create bad direction. And power without direction is no good. You can have all the power you want. If you're hitting the ball over the dugout, it doesn't make you any money. It doesn't get you any batting average points. It doesn't create any home runs. So we need to create power that goes onto the field. So the issue is we have many hitters who are rotating hard to create power. Right? Why they're doing that is because we're trying to teach them how to create more bat speed, more power, and swing their bat more violently. So here's the fix. Understand, when we get to our hitting position, what we're trying to do is we're trying to engage our swing from our backside. Right here in the center of our body, when this turns, when this drives, when this hip fo is forced into action, forward, not turning, forward, it pulls the back knee in which then in turn pulls the back foot, the heel up off the ground, and puts you, force you to driving off your back toe. Right? So what you'll see is guys turn hard in here and swing. Right? When done strong, fast, and aggressively, it goes hard into the front side, which is firm, not straight, but firm. Some guys are straight, some guys are slightly bent, but firm. That's your brakes, this is your gas. When that happens, you go into there, you'll see guys who come off of their back foot as they drive into it. You'll see come that come all the way up to this position while they're back, bang, and they drive into it. It comes off the ground because they've driven their hips, they've exploded their hips, they've, they've uh, gone forward and really tried to create hard force forward. And when they do that, that puts them in this position where their heels up, their toes down, their knees down, their hip is going into the pitch, and they're driving forward. This is not a complicated action, but it is a complicated teach. Not everybody can make the connection of how to create bat speed, power, explosiveness, and accuracy without talking about turning your back foot. And some young hitters can't take it. So I totally understand and don't have a problem with guys teaching back foot turn at the younger ages if they know they're gonna have to translate that into something different at a more advanced age. There's not a problem with that. The problem is when you have 16, 17, 18 year old hitters trying to, trying to squish the bug. And as soon as the changeup comes in play and you're turning and leaning back and the ball's sinking down away or it's curving down away, it becomes difficult 
some would say impossible to hit. So then at that point, we need them to do is get into a good hitting position, see where that pitch is going, and then turn into it, driving off of there so they can cover the plate with action, direction, forward, instead of rotating left. A couple of the things that we hear from people when, when they're teaching this, turn the back foot, squish the bug, as we hear them say, get around to the ball faster. That means that they're trying to get around to the ball, right? You need to get, get around quicker. You need to get out front faster. Around, quicker, out front, quicker. They're trying to get them to rotate around. And the reality is, is we're rotating, we're swinging, we're driving through, from the body, through the pitch. So what happens here close and to the front. And by using our hip properly, it gets us in that position so we can drive balls back through the middle. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Today we talked about how to hit a baseball, stop squishing the bug. Before you leave, do me a favor, subscribe, check out another video, hit the bell when you subscribe, get a notification every time we upload. I appreciate you guys' time today. When in doubt, hit it out.